What is five times nine? Memorize your timetables. Five times nine is 45. Let's practice this arithmetic game. Google arithmetic ZMAC. We'll choose multiplication and practice as long as you need. And let's practice from one to 10 to one to 10 and start. What is three times nine? 27. Two times three, six. Six times nine, 54. Eight times 10, 80. One times one, one, etc. See if you can set a personal best. What is four times eight? You might memorize that it's 32. Anything times four is doubled twice. So what is eight times two is 16 and double it again, it's 32. So the answer is 32. Let's try this arithmetic game again. Just Google arithmetic ZMAC. This time let's choose multiplication one to 10 and one to 20 and see how this goes. What's six times 11? We know that 10 times six is 60, but we need to add one more six. So it's 66. We have 19, which is 10 plus nine. 10 times seven is 70, but we need to add seven times nine, which is 63. What's 70 plus 63? It's 133. Three. That's a bit hard to do in your head, but if you practice, you'll get better. Here's an easy one, six times one is six. And let's try one more. What's four times 15? 15 is 10 plus five. 10 times four is 40, and we multiply the last digit five times four is 20. What's 40 plus 20 is 60. This is good practice. Memorizing your timetables, seven times six is 42. Please memorize that one times one is one, two times two is four, three, three, nine, four, four, 16, five, five, 25, six, six, 36. And in this example, we're just adding one more six. Six times six is 36, but we're adding one more six, giving us a seven. So 36 plus one more six is 42. Memorize seven times seven is 49. 8, 8, 64, 9, 9, 81, and 10 times 10 is 100. What is 8 times 14? When we have a two-digit number times a one-digit number, we can break this down to 10 plus 4 is 14. And we use distribution. 8 times 10 is 80. And we add 8 times 4 is 32. What's 80 plus 32? We have 112. Now in general, how do we multiply a two digit number times a two digit number up to 20 times 20 quickly? One way of doing this is to use a trick. We take one number, we can take the larger number, and add the last digit, 15 plus three. What is 15 plus three? The answer is 18, but we add a zero. So the answer is 180 plus the last two digits multiplied. What's three times five? It's 15. So we add it mentally in our heads. 180 plus 15 is 195. Let's try another one. What is 16 times 11? 16 plus 1 is 17, but we add a 0. And what is the last digit times the last digit, 6 times 1? It's 6. So the final answer, 16 times 11, is 176. Let's go back to this question here. Traditionally, you would write multiplication on top of each other and shoot lasers. 5 times 3 is 15. 5 times 1 is 5, and we add one more, 6. 1 times 3 is 3, and 1 times 1 is 1. 
we draw a line and we add. We have 5, 9, and 1. We have 1, 9, 5. Same answer as before. Let's try one more. What's 17 times 13? The fast way would be 17 plus 3 is 200. We say 20 plus, and we add one more zero. And we add 7 times 3 is 21. So the answer is 221. Let's try a hard one. What is 18 times 16? 18 plus 6 is 24. So out loud we say 240 plus 6 times 8 is 48. Add them up in your head. You could say the answer is 288. So the original question was 13 times 15 or 15 times 13. It doesn't matter. You just take one number and add the last digit. We had 180 plus 5 times 3 is 15. We have 195. One more way of doing this is to take the middle number squared. So the middle number is 14 and we square it minus 1. What is 14 times 14? It's 196 minus 1, which is 195. Same answer. Let's try another one. What if we have 14 times 16? If they're only apart by 2, take the middle number. 15 squared minus 1 is the answer. So memorize your timetables. 15, 15, 2, 2, 5 minus 1 is 2, 2, 4. Did you memorize that 19 times 19 is 3, 6, 1? Let's try to memorize our two digit numbers. We have 11, 11, 1, 2, 1, 12, 12, 1, 4, 4, 13, 13, 1, 6, 9. So 13s or 14s are a bit silly. They do cartwheels. The 6 becomes a 9 and the 9 becomes a 6. So 14, 14, 1, 9, 6. We have 15 times 15 is 225. We're now on level 2. Notice how the last number is always 5 times 5 is 25, ends with the last digit. 4, 4, 16, the number 6 is the last digit. Last digit times last digit, 3, 3, 9. You can see it at the end, 2, 2, 4, and a 1, 1, 1. 16, 16 is 256. It's base 2. 2 to the 4 times 2 to the 4 is 2 to the 8, which is 256. It keeps on doubling. 17, 17, 2, 8, 9. 18, 18, we're at the next level now, is 3, 2, 4. Finally, 19, 19 is 3, 6, 1. And 20, 20, it's a bit easier, is 400. So if you practice this technique to solve this mentally on Arithmetic ZMAC game, you should be able to build some skill. Try 11 to 19 times 11 to 19. And one technique you'll learn is to go 18 plus 7, which is 25. So in your head, say 250. 7, 7, 49, 7, 8, 56. We multiply 7 times 8 is 56. And if you add it mentally, the answer is 306. Another way of doing this is to memorize your timetables. What is 17 times 17? 17 times 17, if you memorize it, is 289. And we can add one more 17. That's another way of thinking about it, which is also 306. Let's use the mental math trick to evaluate 16 times 14 quickly. 16 plus 4 is 20. We add a 0, we say 200. And we add 6 times 4 is 24. Adding these, we have 224 as our answer. By the way, we could also do middle number squared minus 1. 15, 15, 225 minus 1 is also 224.